All right, for this video, I'm just going to show you how to clean up the um, layer style so it plots in nice, sharp black and white, and gray will only be for the hatch layer. Um, the files you're going to see on this computer are a little bit different because they're part of one of my projects because our class project is uh, a newer form of CAD than I have at home. So I'm just going to show you kind of demo with this one. So I've set up this kind of test file called test elevation. So you want to first be on your view tabs and you want to go to your island um, section detail drawings. So in this case, you can kind of see I have a section here. So to clean up all the layers, the problem is here with these elevation layers because they came from an old computer of mine. So we're going to change that for next year. But for now, for, th for this project, we got to clean them up. So we're going to go to layers. We're going to go to this first button up here where it says layer properties. So I'm going to click on that and open it up. Now, normally, um, these are ordered by name. So see how they're alphabetical when I click on the, the name tab. But if I go over to the right where it says plot style, and make sure you've got this nice and wide open so you can find plot style. So you might just have to stretch it out over here. We're going to click on plot style. And now it's um, it's bunched together by plot style. So to, you can click on them and do it one by one. Or you can do shift and then click on this bottom one. And you'll have the whole set of them. So I'm going to left click. And instead of having normal, so he, here you can see all the different styles I have on my computer. You want a uh, full saturation. This is the kind you want for Adobe PDF in our classroom. So you're going to click OK. And then make sure everything's full saturation. You can go way down at the bottom. Anything that's 50%, in this case, this hatch and the screening is what um, pochets the walls. That's correct. So leave those by themselves. But everything else should be full saturation. So we're going to close that up, save that. Then you also want to make sure this is the same on your sheets because it doesn't always roll over from the view to the sheet. So I'm going to click on a sheet. Here I have a test sheet set up. And actually, I'll just drag my view in there now. So there it is there. Oops, it might be somewhere way out far. We'll play with that later. But to do the same, let's see. Oh, you know what? I never saved them. Here we go. We're going to Control S, save. Then we're going to go back over to the sheet. And now it should have something in it to just bring it over just so we can see it there. There it is. Okay. Oh, it's huge. My scale's a little bit too big. This project we're printing out for the client is on a smaller piece of paper. All right. So we're going to put it there just so you can see it there. Um, now we're going to do the same thing with the layers in this sheet as we did already in the view. So you go up to the layers up here, this first button on the left, layer properties. You're going to click on it. Again, you want to order it by plot style. So you're going to go over to the middle, click on plot style. And now, again, all these normals, you want to change to full saturation. In your case, I think there's only four or five of them. Mine has more because there's more going on in my these drawings here. I'm going to click. Oh, I got to get that one too. And then I'm just going to left click on the word normal. And then I'm going to scroll down until I find full saturation and say OK. And that's going to replace that. And then when I go to plot, these will come out as a sharp black ink versus some of you are seeing kind of light or gray or thicker or just kind of some abnormalities. So we caught it with the last half of the class and the other folks had already walked out. So watch the video, update your files, replot them, I'm sorry, and then um, submit them by midnight on Wednesday the 21st. Um, if you have any questions in between, feel free to shoot me an email because like I said, this was my fault for not catching this with everybody in class earlier. Thank you.